Hey, what's up everyone? Professor Danny and today we're going to be looking at some guard passing drills you can do solo using the heavy bag or the grappling dummy on the floor. So if you have some space at home, check it out. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we want to position ourselves right to this position here where the heavy bag is. Imagine you're inside the opponent's close guard position. Now these drills in my opinion, are very important to practice. Not enough people give credit to solo drills. Uh, if you don't have a training partner or your academy is closed, especially nowadays with the holidays, um, use 15, 20, even 30 minutes a day to practice a few solo drills. That way that will keep you sharp, okay, when you return to classes and visualize the techniques. Like if you look at good Muay Thai or good boxers, what they do is shadow boxing all the time, right? We just visualize our skills throw combinations, work on our counters, and see that in our mind. Same thing with jiu-jitsu, I like to apply it the same way. So sometimes if you have a heavy bag, just put it onto the floor and visualize how you're doing your techniques. It's almost like doing shadow boxing for jiu-jitsu, okay? So this first solo drill we're gonna do is we're gonna visualize we're inside the close guard position, and I want you guys to always remember when you're close guard, never slouch down. Always have a nice posture controlling the hips, all right? So what we're gonna do is a no-gi version of a pass. So here, I have a nice posture. Now I need to open the guard, so we're gonna open it from the kneeling position. So now you want a posture up onto your toes, bring one knee into the tailbone, and then widen your base into an L, right? You're making that nice 90 degree motion. This will open up the ankles behind your back. But now we need to pass, that's the guard break. What we're gonna do is bring our knee back in and lift the lead knee up, right? In the center where his belly button is. Now, I've widened my base, I'm in good posture, but he can't lock the guard once again. What we're gonna do from here, look, we're gonna bring this knee cross into his lap, step over, make a big step over his foot, dive into his far sides, that's the underhook on the far side, and now cup, visualize you're cupping the arm, and just sliding your hip crossing to pass the guard. And from here, we can go back to the side control, Controlling the neck, controlling the arm, and you've got your pass. So once again, here we are. If I do the opposite side, we want to posture inside the closed guard, bring one knee into the center, break open the guard. Now I'm going to bring my knee in for balance, step inside the middle, right? I bring that knee and I cross it over. So I just pivot onto my big toe, cross it over, make an underhook, and make a huge step with the opposite leg. Once I'm here, I slide across, I've passed the guard. Now, as I'm holding the arms here, I wanna visualize I wanna bring my chest back to the chest. So look, this lead leg goes up and under that leg, crosses through, and now from here, hold the head, hold the arm, and you've got your pass. All right, guys, we're gonna take a look at another drill you can do solo for guard passing. So once again, we're gonna break open the guard and get a nice posture up on your toes, always keep the upper body straight. Now, knee in the center, break open that guard. From here, get back to your initial boogie board position. Now, we're gonna use a similar pass, but this time, instead of going across, I'm gonna slice through. As I pivot onto my foot, I'm gonna slice through, bringing his leg pinned to the mat. Now look, I'm gonna dive in, back step. Now from here, I'm in a reverse Keza position, and look, again, chest to the mat, back into side control position to finalize my pass, okay? So once again, on the opposite side, I'm gonna get a nice posture here, knee through, break open the guard. Once it's here, bring back into the center. Now instead of crossing over, don't forget, we're crossing to the same side. This is referred to as a knee slice position, okay? So now, I'm gonna dive for the upper body, which is the neck, I'm gonna go for the neck, one, I back step here. Once I'm in reverse Keza, I keep the pressure with the upper body onto his chest, post onto my foot, go back to my knees, hold the head, hold the arm into side control. Okay, last one we're gonna look at, and all of these drills you wanna be doing for, let's say, non-stop from left to right side, at least one or two minutes each. Sometimes we'll put a timer up to five minutes, and just drill left, right, left, right, left, right, nonstop for a whole five minute round. Take a one minute rest, go to the next one. 
Now on the last set, what we're going to do is here, stand up. So we're going to go here, as I stand up to my toes into a posture, I'm going to start to stand up onto my feet, just leaning onto here. Now I want you to bring one hand a little bit higher. Take a step on the opposite side, control, kick up, and fall into a knee on belly position. Once again, we go back to the middle. Good posture here, upper body. Step up, notice I stepped one foot at a time. You can also step up two feet at a time. From here, take a step, bring one hand here, one leg here, step across and kick through into the non belly. I'll show that from a different angle right now, just so you guys can see the footwork. So from here, as you stand up, you go one, two, three, and now you go four and five into your neon belly. On the opposite side, we'll go one, two, three, four, kick through, into position. So this is a great drill of practice. As you notice, you start slow, and once you're comfortable with the move, start to pick up the momentum and the speed. Now, do this for a whole round. All right, guys, so there you have it. Some guard passing solo drills using the grappling dummy or a heavy bag onto the ground. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Guys, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.